Hey, 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 what's going on, YouTube? This is the one and only, King Monye, back again to bring you one of these good old stories. Now, for those of you tuning in for the first time, I tell stories about CYA in prison, you know, and I tell them with the emphasis uh, on trying to deter people from making them type of decisions that's going to lead you into them places where you don't really want to have to face some of these fucked up politics that they got. So listen, I remember it was uh, 2005, right? We was at YTS. YTS, uh, I was on I and J, I side. I'm on my way, I'm on my way to work. I work in the kitchen at this time. It's me and the homie Brownie Low. We work in the kitchen. Brownie Low from 11-8 East Coast. Um, and so we walk in, we bought to go to, to, to work. So we come out our cell and we got to come to the day room. So the day room, the door open and it closed. And we walk in through the day room because as we walk through the day room, we got to walk outside the building to walk into the, to the kitchen. But as we're walking through the day room, uh, I remember, I remember, uh, P Rag, P Rag from Grape Street. We called him P Rag. I think his his name on the streets they called him Baby Tank. May he rest in peace. I think he's gone now. Uh, but and a lot of them dudes from YA is gone now, man. All them dudes I know from YA is is uh is uh either dead or in prison. Uh, and that and that's a shame. But I'm walking through. Walking through. And uh, he's uh, he's in the front row, you know, in the day room. Now, in the day room in Hawaii, Hawaii is a little bit wild. Ain't no real politics like blacks over here, whites over there, nothing like that, you know. Uh, it's just everybody everywhere. But there is still some little, everybody still do a ride with their own. And the, the racial tension is real intense, you know. And anything can pop off at any moment. And But this is just a regular day, an ordinary day. And we're walking through, you know, we got Baby Tank or P-Rag over there with the remote in the front row. Now, P-Rag uh, is what they call a green lighter. He's a green lighter, which means he's a wanted man. All the Mexicans want him. They're supposed to get off on him on site. Um, or if they don't, they consider Leva. Leva. Why? Because he done busted ears. He diss them everywhere he go. They do the same thing, but he's one of the ones who he don't tolerate that shit. You say something to him, he's going to say it back. Yeah, and that's what it is. But anyway, he, we're on I and J, so I, I unit was uh, more of like a therapy unit, intensive treatment program. And so the essays over here, I'm not going to say they was Levi, because some of them, they were still active, they considered themselves active, but uh, they wasn't pushing like they was on the main line. You know, they wasn't attacking all the time. So, But there was this one essay who was new. You know, all the other essays, they had been here programming with PRAG. Right, but there was a new essay, and this essay was an essay by the name of I don't I don't know his name. I'm not gonna say names no more. I got a lot of bullshit last time I said names in case I say the wrong name. But you get the gist of the story. P. Rag is in the front of the day room with the remote in his hand. He's a green lighter. Me and Brownie Low, we walking out. We going to Chow. We going to work. As we walk into Chow, all of a sudden, the Mexicans. Three Mexicans start attacking p rag Boom, 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 boom. They start attacking him as we're walking through the day room. And we instantly, me and Brownie Love, we instantly go into action, right? Now, by this time, we seasoned vets. We already at YTS. We done been, I done been doing this for about three or four years now. At this time, I'm about 18, 19. We done been through the, these war games all the, all the time. So this is just another melee, right? So, but they attacking P-Rag. We didn't know about this. We didn't know no tension. This is a snake attack. They snaked. They sneaked attack. They snaked. And uh, we hella outnumbered. But these ain't essays that it's like uh, super, super militant. These are, like I said, most of these guys are on medication. Most of these guys got mental illness issues. But some of these guys still consider themselves essay sureños. And this new essay in particular, he consider himself active. And he ain't about to stay here long. And he getting off on P rag because he's on the green, the green light. Immediately, me and Brownie Low go into response and start whooping ass. Now, uh, 
we start whooping their ass so bad, man. You know, <laughs> y'all know if y'all know Brownie, Brownie Love, man, y'all y'all ask him about it. Uh we start whooping ass. You know, I'm tripping, tripping fools and knocking fools out. It wasn't really a hard, hard fight because, like I said, them dudes didn't really whoop none. But uh, they snaked on us. You know, the police come in once again. It's it's a it's a little melee for about probably like two minutes. You know, after you drop a few of them and stuff. You know, they start throwing sandals and stuff like that. The police respond real quick. But uh, that quick, man, you know what I'm saying? We was just walking to go to work. P-Rag, he was, he was messed up, you know, bloody, bloody nose and stuff like that. Uh, hair all disheveled. Uh, that was one of, that was uh, a riot where it was like, I learned how to be careful, right? I learned that these dudes, uh, they do what we call snakes. They snake. You know, they make it seem like everything's all right, and then they attack, right? When we was juveniles, when we was in YTS, it was a very racial game, man. And that's what they used to do. So we must have we must have uh, all got cuffed and stuff like that. And at that time, they pretty much know the Mexicans is the instigators. They know the Mexicans is always causing trouble. So stuff like that, when that stuff happens, for the most part, the blacks, we don't get in trouble, you know. We may be on lockdown, unless we instigate them. But stuff like that, when we hella out of number, you know, they know we didn't start that. They know we didn't start it. They know we finished it. And so uh, we wasn't super, super bad. We, was, we wasn't scary, though. We was already seasoned vets, and we was teens, man. So... We're going to lock down for a little bit or whatever. But uh, I tell that story why. I tell that story to just kind of paint a quick, vivid picture of life inside a CYA. Where anything can pop off. Where a normal day, where some people's in the day room playing ping pong. Why over there, others is in the day room playing spades. And why in the front, you got P-Rag just in the midst of watching BET with the remote in his hand. Not aware that in somebody's mind and in somebody's heart, they are secretly plotting to commit acts of violence on you, right? And so, to this day, you know, I'm always vigilant, right? To this day, you know, I still go in a room, and in my mind, I immediately start counting how many Mexicans it is, how many whites it is, how many blacks. And I got to snap out of that because this ain't prison no more. This is society. But in my mind, that is how I survive inside a prison. The first thing you learn to do in any situation, in YA especially, is any room. You go to the nurse, the first thing you do is count how many blacks is in there, how many Mexicans is in there. You count because you know it's a potential, high, li highly likely that it can pop off. You go to Chad. You want to look. You're not counting every one. You just want to get a head count, basically, to see, like, it's easier just to count the blacks because we ain't that many. You'd be like, damn, it's okay, about one, two. Sometimes you get, like, once you get three or four, five solid ones, you know, you start to feel a little bit more comfort. But anyway, Brownie Lope, that, that was my road dog. That was my celly. Well, he was next door to me. We had some good times, some fun times, man. Y'all know who Brownie Lope is, man. Uh, tell him to get at me. Tell him to hit my page up. Uh, once again, man, this is King Monye. I tell stories from prison all the way from back in the day when we was in YA, right? If y'all hit the subscribe and become part of the Monye tribe, go ahead and drop me a comment. I'm going to keep these stories coming. Uh, I'm trying to abolish the prison systems. I'm trying to dismantle it. If you are listening to this, then you need to subscribe and get the real deal content on what's really going on inside them walls and how we can defeat this mass incarceration. Y'all have a blessed day.